Hey everybody, Jeremy here. Welcome to Action Figure Window Shopping, episode 40. My goodness, I can't believe I've been doing this for 40 straight weeks. This is crazy. But anyway, you know what we do around here today. I'm going to look at some cool toys and collectibles that caught my eye over the past week. And um, for the first time in a while, we're not starting anything off with McFarlane Toys because... McFarlane doesn't have anything to show this week, you know, which is fine. They got so many other things that are coming out and all these other announcements that we've seen in the past few weeks. So that's no big deal. So let's jump right over to Dragon Ball because I want to show you something. So I saw that there are some new Ben Presto Dragon Ball statues up for pre-order um, at Bit Bad Toy Store. And one of them here being the Super Saiyan Gohan from the upcoming movie in the United States, Dragon Ball Super, Superhero. So yeah, Gohan, Super Saiyan Gohan. Okay, yeah, that's fine. But one thing that kind of caught my attention, and I don't know if this is like accurate or whatever, but these statues look a little bit different than what I'm kind of used to seeing with Ban Presto statues. Let me show you something else about what I mean. Now, check out this one. So Dragon Ball Z Super Warriors Battle Red Sudan 3 Volume 2 Trunks. There's just something about the way that these guys look. It's not a bad thing, but it's almost like there's a slightly different like art direction in a way. Um, just the way that this Trunks looks, looking at this hair, I mean, that just kind of looks a little bit different. And then when I look at this Vegeta, I think it's more noticeable his face looks cool. You know, I like that. But then when I look at the rest of him, I don't know. There's just something about like down here where the pants are. And it, it seems like there's less. It seems like there's less everything when it comes to his outfit. Like there's not uh, like a minute level of detail that's not there. It almost looks like it's completely just plain and plastic at the bottom. I don't know. There's just, I wish that I could articulate what I mean and kind of look at this Frieza here again, like the, the face looks cool and all. I like that. But then the rest of them just looks kind of plain, I guess it, it, it's just something in my head is just saying that these definitely look different. I was wondering if it was just because maybe it's just a certain like wave of these statues and this is kind of the style that they're going with. But yeah, these don't look as good. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. But anyway, I, I like the fact that Frieza here comes with this rock base, like a you know planet Namek kind of a thing. Look like Namek rocks to me. Um, and then we have this GX Materia Vegito, which this kind of looks more in line with what I'm used to, but it's just something about the way that this Vegeta looks, particularly like here in the pans, but the face looks really good though. And there's something about the way that Trunks kind of looks and he also kind of just has this, maybe it's too clean. Maybe the armor and the, maybe that's it. Maybe it just looks too perfect. Maybe there's not enough grit and then, or maybe it's too smooth. And then looking at Gohan here, I don't know. I feel like there's something quite off. Let me know in the comments if, if you kind of get what I'm trying to you know say here, because I don't know. It's just something is a little bit weird about those. But anyway, that doesn't mean they're bad. I mean, look at these prices, $26.99. You know, it's just I've been looking at Ban Presto statues for a long time. And just when something seems a little bit off, it's like, whoa, you know, it's like I'm sensing a different power level. But anyway, that's the low end stuff. I wanted to see some of the higher end things from Dragon Ball that are resin statues. I came across this site called Anime Collect. And I was looking at these statues here. Now, I don't know if these are like officially licensed or, or what, but I still wanted to take a look at them. I mean, look at this here. Dragon Ball Super Topo Crushing Frieza. So there he is in his um, God of Destruction form. And look at Frieza's face right there. Doesn't that look just awesome? Like I said, I don't know if this is officially licensed or not. But even if it isn't officially licensed, it looks really awesome. It does. And then here are the dimensions, uh, 46 centimeters by 34 centimeters. 
And um, you know, what exactly is that for us Americans? All right. So that's about a foot and a half, 46 centimeters. That's pretty dang big. All right. And this is uh, 50 to I don't know what this means. ES 150 to 150. I'm not sure, but it's one six scale. And look, it's three hundred and ninety nine dollars. That seems like a pretty reasonable price for something like that. And then here's something that's, uh, you know, even cheaper. One hundred and thirty five dollars for this one six scale first form Frieza. And this one is around 20 by 20 by 27 centimeters. So let's just see that's 20 uh, centimeters for 27. So let's see this 27 here is about 10 inches. So 20 centimeters is about seven inches. All right. So that's still not bad to me. When I look at this, look at this detail. This looks really good for $135. So I just kind of just wanted to look through some of these. There's go tanks right there. T-Rex Studio, 137 bucks. Teen Gohan in the one fourth scale, $125. Has anyone ever heard of Anime Collect? Are you familiar with it at all? Do you have anything from this place? If you do or you know someone who has, let me know what their experience has been because you now these prices seem really quite low. It says recast edition produced by third party factory. But look, you get Jiren. In Topo, in one six scale, you get both of these guys for two hundred bucks. That's kind of insane. And all of these statues look really awesome. Super Saiyan three Goku versus Kid Buu. Great Apes and Baby. Come on, man. My man Piccolo here. Oh, and does this one have this one has effects? It has this little base here. Team Gohan, 279 bucks. This looks really awesome. So I'm going to have to do some more research about this because um, at this point, I don't care that it's not officially licensed because these look pretty darn incredible. I want to see if there's a way. Let me see, like, what's the cheapest that you can get? Let me just do 62 bucks is there anything that you can get for around that much oh you can okay so you can get this dragon ball super broly movie kid vegeta you can get this little guy here 15 centimeters tall for 59 bucks a 3d sculpt of vegeta versus topo oh this is a 3d file okay so you can make that yourself all right. But basically, you know, you'll be spending over 100 bucks if you want to get, you know, statue statues. And these just look awesome, man. Kid Vegeta versus the Cybermen, Frieza in his bulked up form, Broly, Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku, Long Hair Trunk. I mean, man, look at all these guys. This looks amazing. Majin Vegeta, a bust of Broly. How big is this Dragon Ball? This is like a big, big Dragon Ball. This is a Namekian Dragon Ball that is, okay, it's 42 centimeters high. Ball diameter is 20 centimeters. It weighs 10 kilograms, which translates to 22 pounds. What? And this is like a dude holding the freaking Dragon Ball and they want 200 bucks for it. Man, that is a nice collectible. I feel like I can just spend this whole episode just looking at these statues because these just look so good. I need to look into this more. Definitely. All right. So let me just stop there just in case we start to get into like spoiler territory with Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Um, but man, yeah, like I said, if anyone knows who Anime Collect is or if you trust them or something, you heard about them, please let me know. All right. Let's back away. Let's take a look at the Spider-Man figure from um, SH Figuarts. Now, last week I mentioned the um, there was one from uh, Spider-Man No Way Home. But we didn't have the pictures and stuff for it yet or the price. Here we go right here. The Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, $94.99 from Big Bag Toy Store. From other places, I'm pretty sure it's going to be around that same price too. But this is Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. So there's the Tobey Maguire head scope. Looks just like him. Wonder, can you hear that thunder right now? It's going to rain. But yeah, 
There's his Spider-Man suit with the line work that you can feel with your fingers. And he's got that webbing there. He is almost six inches tall. He comes with five pairs of optional hands, two heads, a removed mask, a large web, two short webs, and two long webs. So you know that this is just an awesome figure, kind of like that. You want that high quality, but you don't want to go the hot toys route and keep it just, you know, plastic, plastic. And then SH Figures is probably the next best thing, even though it's also going to cost you close to 100 bucks when you want to get it. But there's no denying that they look great. And this is a very nice looking Tobey Maguire uh, head scope. Really, really nice. All right. So let's move to the next thing here. From Storm Collectibles, this is the Ultra Street Fighter 2, the Final Challengers Balrog 1 12th scale Big Bad Toy Store exclusive figure. Check out that pixelated crowd back there. That's awesome. So, you know, Street Fighter has always had a really, really um, soft spot uh, in my heart because I remember when I was younger, when it was Street Fighter 2 Turbo and then Super Street Fighter, I remember my dad used to get those. I don't know where he got those games from, but he always would get them when he was at work and he would call and say that he had them. And then I'd be so excited for the next morning when he actually brought it, you know, brought it home for the Super Nintendo and I would play it all freaking day. Um, but yeah, Balrog. This is where when you got to the end, it was Balrog, Vega, Sagat and M. Bison. I think that was the order. But yeah, here he is. Guy looks good. Of course, he's all super jacked. He's got this head sculpt here with his uh, defeated, his defeated head sculpt. Yep. These are like his classic moves, the whole sliding uppercut thing and like the overhand right. There it goes. Got the follow through right there. Awesome stuff. So 112 scale. And he comes with four head sculpts, a shirtless body body part and a dust effect piece. Oh, I didn't even notice the dust effect piece right there. That is a nice touch. Eighty nine ninety nine. And I probably said this before, but I have two storm collectible figures from Gears of War. And um, I think they're fantastic. I think they are really, really great. Some of the only figures that I've ever had that was so easy to pose and they stand up just beautifully by themselves. They have never fallen over and they give they gave me a, um, will give anybody a nice amount of accessories to go along with those figures. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same thing with Balrog here. But, you know, if you wanted to get some Street Fighter stuff, but don't want to spend, you know, 90 bucks, close to 100 bucks for it. I found this on Big Bad Toy Store. So this is Street Fighter Pop Up Parade Chung Lee. All right. By Max Factory. Thirty six ninety nine comes out next year. And does this not look like a good looking figure? It does. Right. I think it looks fantastic. And when I first saw this, I was like, well, for thirty six ninety nine and it looks this good, it's got to be kind of small. No, it is not. This is a six point six three inch figure. That is amazing. Now, I don't think it's not articulated. OK, so it's just going to be like this, but at least you'll have something Street Fighter in your collection. So this description says from the Street Fighter series of fighting games comes a pop up parade figure of the ICPO investigator who fight. OK, so it's Chun-Li. So the figure um, features Chun-Li in a fighting pose. Prepared to unleash a devastating attack at any moment. Her beautiful looks have been carefully captured in figure form. Be sure to add her to your collection. Now, here's the interesting part. Pop-Up Parade is a series of figures that are easy to collect with affordable prices and speedy releases. Each figure typically stands around 17 to 18 centimeters in height. And the series features a vast collection selection of characters from popular anime and game series with many more to be added soon. So I thought that this was you know just amazing thirty six ninety nine you get this chun Lee. so I was wondering, well, what else do they have here that was a part of like this pop up parade thing so let's just look real quick for pop up parade, and here are some of the other ones here that have like those low costs uh associated with them now, most of these characters I don't know who they are. They're from different shows that I don't watch. But you see the price points are staying pretty much in line with each other. So we got Naruto here, Inuyasha, 
there's Chung Li, more in Yuasha, Fire Emblem. I'm just mentioning the things that I know about. And I'm going to let's filter it to hide the pre-orders and see what you can get right now. Yeah, so My Hero Academia, more in Yuasha, Fairy Tale Pop-Up, Tengen, Topa, Gurren. Yeah, so just scroll down this list. Look at this. Look at this attack on Titan, Aaron Yeager. How big is he? Okay, so he's 5.9 inches, so I guess they're not to scale or whatever. But yeah, it still looks really, really good. So yeah, like they said, it's an affordable way to get some nice looking figures um, from brands and shows and stuff that you like. And I appreciate that. Okay, so let's move on from here. Now, here's something that I thought was really cool looking. It's these Hot Toys figures from this movie, um, Warriors of the F Warriors of Future. And this is apparently a Hong Kong uh, sci-fi action movie. Uh, but I did really like the looks of this guy. And I feel like even if you don't know what this movie is about or whatever, you can't deny that that looks awesome. You can just make them, you know, whatever you want them to be. So, you know, this looks like a futuristic soldier. Got the armor on. Guns and tools aplenty. Look at that. Got a gun right there. Got a little axe right there. Uh, what are those? Are those more blades or whatever? I mean, the guy, he's... He's, he's souped up like crazy. And I've always really liked this kind of dead space-ish kind of armor for different characters. And he's got that helmet. He's got red eyes. Looks amazing, doesn't it? I like it. So this is Johnson. So Johnson here is seven inches, made of die cast and plastic, lifelike detail, highly articulated, real metal parts, and interchangeable face expressions. So he comes with a flashlight, gear holsters, heavy machine gun, axe dagger, pistols, grenades, and a rocky themed base for $334.99. So, you know, it's a hot toy, so that's what it's going to cost. But this figure looks incredible. Regardless of wherever it's from, it looks like an incredible looking figure. And it's not the only one that they have. They also have this guy, Tyler. So we've got Johnson and we have Tyler. With two names that I think of when I think of Hong Kong is definitely Johnson and Tyler. But anyway, let's take a look at Tyler here, just like the guy next door. So, you know, he's all suited up with the same type of armor, but he's got the blue eyes instead of the red eyes. But still, the figure just looks just as incredible. It's got the rocky base and everything. So, you know, he's going to be just like Johnson, the same kind of, you know, build. And they give you the same types of things with it for the same price. Um, but I really thought that this was cool. And I would not mind having these figures just as just two dudes, you know. So even if Warriors of the Future is not a good movie, Warriors of Future is not a good movie. It doesn't really matter. Now, we are almost done with this episode. I got a couple more things to show you. Here is a statue from Critical Role Vox Machina. I have no idea what this is. Is this the show that McFarlane does figures for? Probably. I don't know what it's about, but I thought it was super pretty. That's why I wanted to show you. $234.99. Keyleth? Keyleth? This is her statue. I don't know who she is. I don't know what she does, but you know, I love the colors of this statue. I love the autumn colors. You know, she just has a lot of colorfulness going on. And I guess for me, I kind of do like the sort of autumn forest elven kind of things. I remember a long, maybe not even. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I had this Lego set that was based on a Lord of the Rings scene. And it was like in a forest and it was like elves as the minifigures. And they had these trees and the pieces were like different colors. You know, you had a little bit of green. You had a little bit of like a light brown. And I thought those trees were so awesome. I bought additional pieces from Brickseek, which was separate from Lego at that time, just so that I could make bigger trees of those colors. And what she's wearing here reminds me of those colors the brown and the green. So I think that's what really drew me to this. That and you have like that little tree down there. It looks like a tiny little bonsai tree. I don't think it is, but you know, it looks like one. So I appreciate this for the artistry. 
But if you are curious, it's almost a foot tall and it includes a Vox Machina monogram base. But yeah, just it's a pretty figure. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is pretty in a different way. TMNT, Raphael, all right, PCS Collectibles Deluxe Edition, one third scale statue, $1,264.99. Super jacked Raphael, you know, destroying Mausers. And he's got that kind of full top of the head bandana from like the later movies. But, you know, this is not the Raphael that, you know, I know and love. I want the other one. Fortunately, they have that one. If you just want to do the regular bandana, you can do the regular bandana. So to me, this looks a lot better than that. See, which one do you prefer? You want this one or you want that one? This one or that one? I prefer this one. Definitely. All right, let's see what this guy comes with. He's 21 inches tall and 21 inches wide. And... It is made of polystone and he comes with an alternate headpiece and an alternate left hand. So there's a little bit that you can do with him, but for the most part, this is what you get. And, you know, I love the configuration with the traditional bandana and not like the, you know, covering the head kind of a thing. But man, yeah, he's super jacked and yeah, it's not like, you know, my Raphael, but from all things considered, this is still a really nice looking statue with the scratches on the back of his shell like Raphael has because he's so darn aggressive, always getting into fights. Look at the scratches right there on the chest. I always love the way he held those sides, not holding it by the handles, but kind of like just getting in between them. I would kind of do that too, like if I was walking like in a around a gas station or something and I just wasn't too sure if someone was going to pop out, I would take my keys and I would kind of just slide my keys in between my fingers like Wolverine claws. So if somebody tried something, I'm like, oh, I should be able to get them one good time with my keys sticking out and that should mess them up enough for me to be able to get away. Uh, yeah, so pro tip, if you find yourself in a shady situation, you can arm yourself with your keys. Um, it's going to hurt. But yeah, so that's just some um, defense tips from me. Please don't get yourself killed. But this is a great, amazing looking statue that can be yours. You put down $189.75 of a non-refundable deposit to commit to the full purchase. And it will arrive by July of 2023, one year from now, pretty much. So that is going to do it for this episode of action figure window shopping i'll be back next week with episode 41 with even more goodness to share so i will see you then thanks so much for watching so next time i'm jeremy talk to you later